In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full beginner's guide to the Opinu product reviews app UGC for Shopify. So first thing you want to do is go down in the link in the description and click on the link there. It's going to take you to this page here. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and click install and that's going to go ahead and activate it or try to install it onto your Shopify store. You simply want to press install here and it should go ahead and load up onto your store. Now first things first, once you're inside of the app, it's going to ask you if you want to import any reviews, either from a marketplace or another app. You can either go ahead and click import here, or you can just skip the import section. Now once we've done that, it's going to ask us to install widgets. And first of all, it's going to ask you, do you want to install it on a live theme? And you just put visible, it's going to immediately make it visible on your store. You can select which widgets you want, and if you want to see them, you can just click here. It's going to give you an example of each. So we've got this one here, which is for the reviews. This is the product stars, and this is the collection stars. So once you've done that, click next. And then from here, it's going to ask for the initial design that you like for the widget. So you've got default, minimal, modern, carousel. Also going to ask you for some stuff like the date formatting and the language. We're going to go ahead and click next. And then finally, we're going to be over here on the billing section. So you can go ahead and select monthly, it will make it a little bit cheaper. I mean more expensive, but at least you are going to be able to pay monthly. If you want it cheaper, you can pay annually because it's quite expensive. And what we're going to go ahead and do is just pick the plan that we like. I'm going to go ahead and pick the starter plan. That's all I need for now. And if you want to, you can add the smart reviews tab, but it's up to you if you add that. So I'm going to click confirm plan. And it should prompt us to verify that on Shopify. Here we go, you can just press approve and we should be ready to go. So now that we've done that and we're inside of the app, we can go ahead firstly and import some reviews that we already have. So we can click import reviews here and we can find the product we want to add reviews to. So find the product and then here what you can do is you can find the URL from Amazon or AliExpress or something like that. So let's for example take this lamp. I can go ahead, find the corresponding product. I'm just going to pick this one, for example. Go ahead to the top, copy the link across. And then if we just paste it in here, you can see it's now going to ask you for how many reviews you want to import. Do as many as you want. I'll just do 20. Uh, you can press import all available. Now you can also translate them if you want to. So I'm going to click English and that will translate them automatically. Sometimes you'll see a lot of um, reviews are in like Russian and stuff. So I would recommend that. And then you can only import uh, reviews or images if you want to. So now we can go ahead and click import and you can see it's starting to import here just like that. Depending on how many reviews you've actually added, it might take um, a different amount of time. But you see I've added 20 so it's not going to take too long. But you might want to leave this, you know, go away and leave this. So here we are, the reviews have now been added to this product. And you can see it's got an average of 4.8 with 20 reviews. So Cool, it works good. You can also go ahead here and add some shop reviews. So these are just general reviews for the shop. And you can also migrate some reviews from other apps. So you might have used something like Luke's in the past or something like that. Go ahead, select the one you're using. You can even go ahead and click custom file and you can add a CSV. The way you do that is click download template and it's going to give you a CSV file like this, which basically gives you the pre-made columns and you can basically fill them in with the information and then just import it here and that will go ahead and import. So next up, we just need to make sure that we've actually installed the widgets properly. Click install widgets here, press install widgets again, and it's going to go ahead and install it on your theme. This might take a second to do. And what we can do as well, we can go to online store, go to themes, and then go to customize. And then we can go across to the left hand side here, and we can turn on the global code here, make sure it's turned on, and also these snippets here. I'd also recommend turning off any other apps that might interfere with this. So sometimes you might have multiple review apps installed. So turn those off so it doesn't you know, inter interfere. Press save and then we can go ahead to the product page and we can see, okay, the reviews are actually showing up here. We can see the reviews show up here as well. And if we scroll down, we should be able to find the reviews. This is a different review app, so I'm just going to remove that. Nice, and we can see the other reviews are also here, so you can scroll through them. So it looks like it works, we can go ahead and click save, just like that. 
Okay, so now we've done that, we can go ahead and finish setting up our um, name and logo. So we can go ahead, open this up, and sort out our store settings. So shop name, shop owner name, all this information you go ahead and put here. You can change the default import settings. So you might have some settings you want to keep the same every single time. Just go ahead and do that, especially if you're bulk importing. You've also got some other things here, like who reviews the well who verifies the reviews you've got some um, dns settings here that you can mess with and then you've also got blacklist here so this is for people who keep leaving you really bad reviews you can put that email in here and then you should be able to go ahead and block them from actually leaving any other reviews something else you can do here is you can sync contacts from shopify so if you click that it's going to sync your contacts across We've also got a few things here, like we've got our analytics. This is for our email sends. We've got users in case you want to go ahead and add some uh, staff members, that kind of thing. We got um, a shop link, so you can go ahead and do it with multiple stores. We've got the referral thing here. So if you want to refer a friend, you'll both benefit. And then you've got some tutorials from them here. Now, last thing, we're going to want to go ahead and set up the email flow. So we'll go to where it says email setup, click configure email flow. And this here is going to be the flow which asks people to leave a review. So first of all, we've got a timing setting. So this is um, how long after they've placed the order is it going to send this. So press configure and you can see there's going to be a 14 day delay, 21 for international orders, two days for a POS orders. And then you can pick here the time of day that you send the mail. Pick a time when people are going to be active, not like 2 a.m. You've also got a aftership integration that you can use here. And you can go ahead and save that. Then next up here, we also have the um, email request template. So this is the actual email they get sent. You can go ahead and customize this if you want. It's pretty easy. Um, you've got some coupon incentives to incentivize them to do it. You've got buttons. All that kind of stuff is very easy to configure you can just go ahead and save that once you've done we've also got a thank you page here so this is after they leave a review it's going to send them a little thing here you can edit the design of this maybe give them a discount code in there or just customize this a bit more personalized you can also go advanced and do some advanced templates so you can do like some follow-up stuff like that but this is the basic one you're going to want to go ahead and use once you're happy with it you can turn it on and um, you can turn on advanced mode as well this is going to show you things like SMSs, so you can send it via SMS. And you can also do reminders, you can have a photo reminder, that kind of thing. You can also test this automation by sending it to yourself, which is um, a good way to make sure it's working. But that's basically how we use the Apinu product reviews app for Shopify. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that helped. Thank you for watching.